Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, everyone. Thank you for coming back to the channel. There's the Sport Eggs World. Featuring the family of... Okay, family's my co-host. We get down and we talk about different things, different people, different subjects, and we always go back and forth in the comment section. We basically say what we liked it, what we didn't like, how it should have been, how it shouldn't be, those type of things. You know, conversations, that's all. And the stuff we say is just our opinions. They may or may not be true or factual, okay? <clears throat> but we're just hanging around the house, chilling, like villains, and just trying to make sense of why people act the way they act, okay? Well, we got an article from Urban Bell today. Amanda Anderson now wrote it up for us, and she titled it, Just Entertainment, People It's Just Entertainment. Marlo Hampton believes Kenya Moore and Andy Burris needed Real Housewives of Atlanta. <laughs> well, well, well. Every, I should say, everyone needs something stick. Something that's bringing in income monthly, weekly, bi-weekly, however you get it. Okay? Everybody needs steady income. And it would behoove to think Marlo would need steady income, too. So while she is saying Andy and Kenya need this show, things like she needed it as well because she was trying to get them and probably several other uh, housewives uh, get the attention of the big people to bring her on instead of her being a friend of the show. See what I'm saying? And hell, they don't get paid if they're not shown in the scene. So all of them try to be with everybody, having group things and stuff of that nature, events and things, so everybody can be paid. But I don't know where Marlo gets this sad story from, that they need it. Hell, everybody needs to work, and everybody's going to try to get the best job that's making the best money out there. Let's get on into the story. It says, Real Housewives of Atlanta star Marlo Hampton became very emotional at the recent reunion. She isn't on the best terms with Kenya Moore and Candy Burris. And she said that they treated her like she wasn't good enough to share the stage with them. Marlo also said her childhood traumas made her insecure. When it took so long for her to secure a peak, she questioned if she was even good enough. So she lashes out. Uh, she is hurt. Well, Marlo, I look at the situation is you were a kid when you were doing all of those infractions with the law, and you might have been in your early stages of your adulthood. We don't expect everybody to have it right the first time. There would be pitfalls, there would be shortcomings. And there will be catastrophe. But such is life. Whatever the world throws at you, it's a learning experience. It's going to teach you to be better, or it's going to teach you to be wickeder. Whichever one you choose will be your full of destiny that you put on yourself to thrive. Okay? But um, Marlo's still like, she wants to start some shit. I'm like, they're going to be taping sometime in this month. And uh, the film, the camera, and the film is going to be rolling. And if you're privy to know where they're going to be taping it in Georgia, sometimes you can like show up. And you would see 
what they're doing, how they're doing it, and how it's going to mesh real well for season 15. Those of us that work, we don't give a shit. You know what I'm saying? And if we go hang around in the Sandy Springs, Roswell, or Peachtree area, you might catch a celebrity or two. Okay? But if that's your shin, you want to be around, you want to be bumping into them, you want to take selfies, that's you. You know, that's you. That's good all day long. Me, I ain't got time for all that. And I've had, if you watch some of my videos, you would know some of the people that I got a chance to know that were celebrities, okay? But just see what it is, okay? I ain't never met a stranger, and I don't treat anybody in the celebrity world no different than I would treat an ordinary uh, man or woman or boy or girl, okay? Everybody the same love. Because, uh, you know, you're playing a part, and sometimes you might get too invested in the part you're playing when you bring it into your real life. And that's what I think. Marlo can't. She really can't ascertain which one or which person she wants to play at the time. But um, we're going to get into this story. And um, we can't give Marlo any more passes for being a good old. Head, a dumbass. We cannot do that, okay? Because when you get older, you're supposed to know better. That's because people hurt you in your past. Yeah, you probably won't forget about it, but you need to move on. You need to be able to forgive yourself for being around, you know, crazy people like that that made you act out of character. And you need to uh, forgive them as well, okay? If you want to be a well-rounded individual and you want to learn from your mistakes, basically what I'm getting at. Okay, going back to the article, it says, um, neither Kenya nor Candy were moved by Marlo's emotional moment. In fact, both felt like Marlo's speech was very rehearsed. And they also don't think that Marlo was held accountable at the reunion. This may have been one of the reasons why Kenya told fans she didn't like the reunion. She would rather describe it as fame, no, as tame during an interview. Marlo has already said quite a bit about Kenya and Candy on and off of the show in the last few months. But it's some comments you made on the after show about both ladies that had fans talking on social media. She expressed that it really bothers her that people are constantly asking how she makes her money. And she took some more jabs at Kenya and Candy while she clapped back. Well, Marlo, let's just put it like this. Everybody that's anybody would love to know what somebody, somebody do for a living. It's just human nature, okay? We want to know what you're doing, what are you occupying your time with while you're away from us. You know what I'm saying? And uh, it's not unheard of that you ask a person where they work, what do they do for a living. Now, what's personal and something you shouldn't ask is how much they make. But, you know, because that's not, that ain't none of your business, you know what I'm saying? Unless information is given freely from that person that you're trying to get the information from. That's disrespectful, and that's something you should not ever think to do. Now, if your family members and y'all go back and forth telling each other, you know, that's not that. But a, a person that you really don't know, a person that's mm, kind of iffy in your book. And I think another strong reason why Marlo and Kenya can't seem to coincide with one another is because they're both alpha females and they both are Aquarius. Now, two Aquarius, we're headstrong, we're very intelligent, and we can spot bullshit a mile away. Now, sometimes everybody can get a little petty here and there. But one thing about Aquarius, we don't like too much of the fuck. You know what I'm saying? We want you to be yourself all day long. You ain't got to front for nobody. Just be yourself. And we're not good at holding our emotions in when we're upset about a person's demeanor, character, or act that they're displaying. You know, because we, we kind of like very sensitive people. We just want to be, everybody be in the same harmony of good look, good fortune, and good behavior. And then when we have to go off on somebody that seems like they just want to do too much. They just trying to be extra. 
then that's when our other side come out where we would check you real hard, quick, fast, in a hurry. And then after we've done that, we're done with you pretty much. We're done. We will allow you to exist in our presence, but don't think we're going to be sociable. You know what I'm saying? We can be in a messed up situation, and you probably wouldn't even never know the difference until people start asking questions and you start moving in a different way. Then you just let a person know how you feel about that situation and that person. Cause you ain't got that. You give two shits to give for that person. You don't wish them no harm. You uh, can be around them, but you ain't ready to socialize. You know what I'm saying? That's a dead issue. I'm here. Acknowledge that I am here. I acknowledge you are there. And that's all. We're not going to have a conversation. We're not going to laugh it up. We're not going to kick it up. And this is how Aquarius move. Once you hurt them or once they see a side of you that's uh, disrespectful and not lower you, we got to go. We ain't going to be bothered with you. And the relationship will never be the same. But that's, I can only say that because I am an Aquarius. And I can see, you know, uh, two Aquarius bumping heads because we think we know everything. Even though we're allowed to learn more, but we feel like we do have a good grasp on everything that we touch or we're around or anything of that nature. Okay? We, we have our opinions and we're steadfast in what we believe in. And we don't usually alter uh, anything about it. Not saying that we're perfect, but we just like who we are. We're confident in our skin, and that's basically uh, what Anya and Harlow is trying to do. Because we're not people pleasers. We we want everybody to be in good spirits with everybody, but we don't. We we we're from the uh, the cloth of what's right is right, what's wrong is wrong, and we're not going to be old. But uh, going back to the article, it says. Uh, he said, I get my money the same place these girls get theirs from, this platform. From all of my jobs, my businesses, from posting on Instagram, from walking in a room for an hour. And of course, I don't date broke. I would never disown that, okay? But while you get where you get your money from, that's like asking Kenya where she got her money from. And you know, if you ask Kenya the right way, you have a good tone about it, she might really tell you. But we aren't secretive people. If we feel we need to make a point or a statement. We do it. We got it. It's good. We're done with it. Okay? Okay. Marla continued. She didn't own a home until she got on this platform. She was renting. Okay? You don't know this. Kenya says, Kenya in the beginning with Kenya more hair care had water in her bottles. She didn't question how Kenya makes her money outside of Real Housewives in Atlanta. Just think about it. Where does Kenya get her money from? What does Kenya do? Tell me what movie has she ever been in that grossed a million dollars? Tell me whatever movie she's been in that she was the star of. See, that's that alpha male. I mean, that's that alpha female. Uh, what do you call that? Condescending mess starts. Okay? It's when you want to up one on that person. But yet, you want to look good in the in the, in the interim of everything. Okay, she's trying to bring one Aquarius down. And if you know anything about Aquarius, you're not going to get the last say. You can bet that as a fact. But anyway, Candy was there and brought up. Let me be clear. Let me go back to the camera. Candy, we all know her from Escape, always had money. Childhood star, but guess what? Things changed when she got on this platform. House change, income change, jobs change. Stop it. Where I get my money from, I've been here 10 years. Doors have opened for me like no other. And I get money right now talking to you and talking to you. Looks at Sanya Richards Ross. I'm getting paid by the minute. Thank you. Stop it. She shaded their marriages. I don't date broke. I'm not, I don't, uh, I'm not dating guys who I have to take care of, and they wear the ring, and I don't wear the ring. I'm not dating guys where I'm getting married to, and then they divorce me and want my money. I'm not doing that. Okay. 
So again, Marlo is acting foolish. She's stepping out the side of her neck. Pretty much, Andy was trying to clean up her act. And uh, the reunion part one and two, and I'm pretty sure he'll do the same on three. But Marlo talks too much. And then once she said all these horrible things, she wants him to be in good favor with her. And that just doesn't work in the real world. You can't dog out somebody. You can't try to make a fool out of them in the public eye and then think they're going to be riding your coattails, wanting to be around you. Day and night, night and day. Not going to happen. But let's go and see what Marlo was basically saying on this platform regarding Candy and uh, Kate. Same place these girls get theirs from. All of my jobs, my businesses, from posting on Instagram from working for an hour. Okay? And of course, I do. Never disown them. Okay, that's where you get your money from. That's like asking Kia. Where do you get your money from? On a home petition now in this one. Renting. Oh, not a white renting. Girl, please put your shoes on. Let's go find your home. Okay? You don't know this. Kia is getting with Kia for her and help more than her mom. I'm sorry. <laughs> That was Marlo's um, example of how she felt the other women were acting and how she feels and she thinks she's going to continue doing whatever she did in season 14. She's going to bring it over into 15. Of course, we could say it's going to be a hot, hot mess once again. But again, Marlo cannot say these things and think there's not going to be repercussions. Okay, So you would think she would play a little bit smarter. Not harder for season 15. And definitely, they ain't got to talk about the husbands and the children. Just stay on them. Okay? Get, get all you want and then some on the, the, the people on Housewives of Atlanta. Not the spouses, not the children. But if Marlo want to go bumping heads with Candy and Kenya once again for season 15, let the shenanigans begin. But that's all I got for this particular story, guys. Get down in those comments. Make sure you uh, tap that notification bell so you'll know when I upload and download videos, okay? For your viewing pleasure. And the next thing I want you to do is subscribe. And if you find yourself unsubscribed and you know you didn't do it, subscribe back to the channel and like the videos. It helps, guys. It helps me out a lot. 
All right, but I'll see y'all in the next video. Y'all take it easy. Bye.